Welcome to a show me on the venous sinuses. We are looking from the superior aspect down into the skull. Our first sinus is the sphenoparietal sinus. The sphenoparietal sinus drains medially towards the cavernous sinus. The cavernous sinus sits either side of the cella tercica and receives blood from the venous blood from the sphenoparietal sinus as well as the ophthalmic veins and the superficial middle cerebral veins. The cavernous sinus though is not just filled with venous blood, it also has some structures that run through it. Inside the cavernous sinus you will find the internal carotid artery as well as the internal carotid artery there is the oculomotor nerve, trochlear nerve, abducens nerve and parts of the trigeminal nerve running through this sinus. Venous blood from the cavernous sinus can now take two routes. It can continue laterally along this ridge here. Oh, wrong color. This is the superior petrosal sinus. All blood can pass down through the inferior petrosal sinus. We're going to leave those ends there just for a minute because we need to think about the venous blood that is coming from the superior aspect and we're going to do that. We're just going to think about turning our orientation into the sagittal plane and draining the dural sinuses we have a superior sagittal sinus draining in the direction I've just drawn it and an inferior sagittal sinus that then drains into a straight sinus connecting like that within the Faux cerebri and this common point here the straight sinus we can locate as being coming down here. Continuing on this view we then have a right and a left transverse sinus on both sides Now we need to add in some of the connections. So the superior petrosal sinus, you can see coming along here, is going to join at this point so that the venous blood can then travel into the sigmoid sinus and the inferior petrosal sinus is draining in here into the sigmoid sinus. What isn't quite right is by the time this line actually could do with being much larger in diameter because the sigmoid sinus is quite a significant sinus and once it's passed through the jugular foramen um, becomes known as the internal jugular vein and this would be replicated as well on the other side. Now we're just going to have a look at this diagram I've drawn over here in a little bit more detail by rubbing it out So we are looking within the superior part of the falx cerebri. We have our superior sagittal sinus running from anterior to posterior. We then have our inferior sagittal sinus running like this. The inferior sagittal sinus then receives the great cerebral vein and these two join to form the straight sinus. The superior sagittal sinus and the inferior sagittal sinus drain at a point known as the confluence of sinuses. These then pass out laterally, so slightly difficult to do because you're changing section into the transverse sinuses on the right and the left hand side.
Now we've come back to have a look at our initial picture. The one little part we're going to spend just 30 more seconds on is going to be the cavernous sinus. Now we're going to have a look at the cavernous sinus in the coronal section. So we're looking at the sphenoid bone here. We have the pituitary gland sitting very much like this. The internal carotid artery moving through the cavernous sinus. Like that. All right, I've rather messily coloured that one in, but I've coloured it in because sitting then next to it here is the abducens nerve. Now all the rest of the cranial nerves actually sit just with outside of the sinus, within the dura mater though. Okay, so I've added in the boundaries of the dura mater, extended our internal carotid artery there because obviously it's going to pierce through the dura to come out above it up here. And we're just going to add in the rest of the cranial nerves now. This is the oculomotor nerve. We then have the trochlear nerve, then the ophthalmic nerve, and then the maxillary nerve. So here we have the nerves, and the cavernous will be completely filled with blood. I don't think I'm going to win any Blue Peter Awards here for colouring, but that is our cavernous sinus. And back to our first picture and this is your dural sinuses. Well done.